Understanding the relationship between fluorescence spillover and spread is important for patent design because spread can significantly impact the resolution of your study. Fluorescence spillover occurs when one fluorochrome emits into a secondary detector. This causes higher background and increased spread measured as robust standard deviation in these detectors. In this example, the Percy P Sci Fi.5 is spilling into the PE Sci 7 detector. To help mitigate these effects, we used a process of compensation, which can eliminate the background. However, the increased spread remains. Spread due to spillover can have significant impact when resolving dim from negative populations, which is critical to good pattern design. Here, in the bottom panel, the spread of the negative population is coming from spillover from a different fluorochrome. This effect can be problematic as it makes population resolution harder to achieve. The amount of spread into other detectors is controlled by three factors. Number one, the amount of fluorescence spillover. Two, the antigen density. And three, fluorochrome brightness. The larger the fluorescence spillover, shown here from 1% to 26%, the greater the spread. Similarly, at any given PMT voltage, the antigen density and the fluorochrome brightness together determine the reagent brightness, measured as medium fluorescence intensity, or MFI. As you can see, the higher the MFI, the greater the spread. The larger the spread, the more difficult it is to resolve dim populations from negative ones. In this example, the CDX expression is low, resulting in limited spread. Therefore, it is easy to resolve the CDX positive, CDY dim population shown in black. However, if the CDX expression is high, resulting in large spread, then it is difficult, if not impossible, to fully resolve the CDX bright, CDY dim population shown in black. Clearly, understanding the fundamental relationship between fluorescence and spread can help you design your panel by maximizing the resolution of critical populations through minimizing the spread of their respective reagents. To learn more, visit bdbiosciences.com.